Things have been kind of quiet around here recently because I've been really busy with a new project. It's a piece of original research that wouldn't be possible without your support. So today I want to give you guys a little behind the scenes preview of what it is that I've been working on. I'm standing in Boston's historic North End neighborhood, which nearly a hundred years ago was the site of one of the most bizarre accidents of all time, the Great Boston Molasses Flood. In January 1919, an enormous steel tank collapsed in this waterfront neighborhood, releasing three and a half Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of molasses. The molasses tank stood just behind where I am now. It would have stretched from me all the way past home plate over there, and it would have stood taller than these stadium lights. The dense viscous liquid engulfed the area, destroying buildings, damaging the elevated railroad, killing 21 people and injuring 150 others, many of them severely. Lots of articles have been written about the molasses flood, but nobody's really talked about the fluid dynamics of it. What makes a flood of molasses different from one of, say, water? Molasses is supposed to be really slow, but historical estimates say that the initial wave moved 35 miles an hour. How is that even possible? I'm working with collaborators at Harvard to answer these and other questions about the Boston molasses flood. So I'm coming to you from a cold room where it is four degrees Celsius. I'm joined by Molly Edwards of the Science IRL channel. And we have spent the morning spilling molasses. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> We've been measuring the rheological properties of molasses, researching how dense flows spread, and working to model these flows in the context of the molasses flood. Eventually, this will all become a video for the YouTube channel, but I'm hoping that it will be much more than that. Like I said, this is original research. Those of you attending the APS DFD meeting next month will have the chance to see some of the results there. I'm giving a talk about the project Monday, November 21st at 6.01 p.m., so please come and check it out. For the rest of you, I will put that presentation up here on Patreon later next month. In the meantime, thank you so much for your help and your support. None of this would be possible without you guys. Thank you. I'm sinking in the molasses. <laughs>